This might look like a normal microscope, but it's being driven by artificial intelligence. So for 10 years, we've been working on a system that can image these huge pathology slides so we can then apply AI to the diagnosis. Humans no longer have to peer into the machine and search for diseases. Once we used to look at 100 cells to classify those cells, now we can look at 1,000 cells and you get a much better outcome. The AI is used during the image capture. Uh, the system actually knows what it's looking for. It knows what diagnostic cells look like. Robots already help out with menial pathology tasks like sorting and transporting samples. But now AI can help diagnose diseases, identify infections. An experienced, trained scientist can tell the AI, look, that's that pattern and the AI will remember that. So the next time it sees a digital image with that pattern, it'll say, oh, that's X. And so it'll classify. Currently we support 17 different tests that are run on a 24-7 you know, basis. The AI project is a collaboration between the University of Queensland and Sullivan Nicolaides Pathology. It's still within human control. This is not a robot that's doing this. This is a, this is a computer program that's been trained by, by a, an expert and will con be continually reviewed by that expert as well. A human signs off on everything, uh, but we make it so that it's much easier for the human to sign off quickly. The hope is the technology can be adopted by other labs. We've got a, an AI algorithm that accurately diagnoses them. I believe it is a world first. George Roberts, ABC News, Brisbane.